Hello, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to the new demo on Source of Metrics project. This time we will see some visualizations done in Superset. So, uh, just for you to don't lose a concept of me saying just random stuff, I will write down notes in old time WIM fashion. Sorry, because I, I could not prepare a fancy presentation. So, <clears throat> let's see. We have a source ops metrics project, which collects information, which analyzes actually GitHub re repositories. And then it stores the knowledge on the ZEF. Knowledge is, for example, analyze pull requests or issues or readme files and etc. etc. Then, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so, then we have a superset and hue integration. So basically, the hue is connected to the stuff, and we 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 basically create a database and uh, tables from the collected knowledge that is stored on the ZEF. So, yeah, so, so the new database is created for a source of metrics project, and the tables for that are also created. So then we have a superset, which is the actual application for visualization, visualizations and for dashboards which is uh, kind of communicating with you, and it works by the way that we import tables that we created previously from you. So this is kind of the whole workaround around the superset dashboards, and uh, we can move to the actual visualizations, or I can show you the actual the actual hue interface how it does how does it look like so yeah you can you can see the s3 s3 database we can take a look at where our knowledge is stored so here you can see the source of metrics project what knowledge and and there, basically, that, that is the, the, these are the things that are stored from the uh, repo analysis. Out of that, you create a database where you create a tables. So, for example, for issues, you can create a standalone table issues. You can also create views, which are kind of tables, but the views can be modified, so you can join multiple tables at once. And then you have a superset. Uh, in superset, you need to, to actually import the tables from the hue you created before, from the database you created before. So we have here the thought sorts, the tables. And then you can create charts. So, um, and dashboards out of those charts. Uh, I'm really sorry that these this dashboard does not have much visualizations because uh, I think I have encountered some issues with Hue and with the with the data storage uh, which need to be uh, redone and the information specifically about the dates have to be stored uh, in other way. So I have just some basics here, and we can we can actually go and make a chart that would be present in the source of dashboard. So yeah, ju just to showcase what is here, you have basically pie charts with issue creators, pull request creators, pull request closers, issue closers, which is uh, which is. Uh, uh, collected from the repo you can select. So you can see, you can also add a filter uh, in, in charts. Filter is basically not, not the chart, but in superset, uh, in superset terminology, the filter is under the chart. So 
So if you want to create a new filter, you go to the charts and create a new filter. And we have a filter here that we can select repos we want to have a repository health report on. So uh, th these are the rep repositories uh, stored and sorted uh, by their uh, size of uh, actual records. So I can, I can select dot station result API. We can see the actual activity there, and you can also combine these. So you can go and make uh, result API and core. Uh, didn't try this. Maybe it will work because you can, no. Okay, I'll look into that further uh, because you also want to have a, a, a dashboard on organization, not just on specific repos. And, Collecting all those repos just based on the uh, on uh, on these uh, items will be just a manual work which you don't want to do. So uh, yeah, you you can also he have here a quantitative activity which is just a sum of issues and pull requests by the author in that re repository. We can look at the how how does the charts look. So if you want to create a new chart, you just select the, the, the table you, you've imported from the hue, which we are going to use here now as a health table. And you can choose which visualization you want to uh, make. So yeah. You can also select it here. So I don't know. We can try. You can try the pie chart. Basically, yeah, and now you can select what kind of metrics you want to use. So we can recreate the the pull request pie chart because uh, uh, nothing more can be done by now. Uh, because of the way we store the data, the data has to be a risk. Has, has, the data have, has to have a new scheme for uh, uh, a dashboard to use it. So, yeah, maybe next time. But let me see. I don't know. Index. Hmm, something is wrong. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, I hope next time I'll show the whole dashboard, how it was supposed to look like, with also the proper fancy presentation. <laughs> so thank you for now. Any questions? Yes, on, on the U. Um, so you said it is basically gesturing all our data that we have on Zeph. Uh, is everybody able to, to surf through that data right now? Yeah, the you uh, yeah, the you have a DH playpen bucket, which is a, I, I, I think public, but our 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 Zeph bucket like TOF or DH dev data, you have to have a access key. ID secret, and if you have that, you can browse through that. Okay, cool. But, uh, can you throw everyone... the? Sorry, but everyone will see those. Yes, um, yes, um, because it's configured on on the U level, right? Whenever I have access to U, I can see all the data. Yeah. Can you drop these uh, two URLs in the in the document uh, too? What do you mean? The U and the superset uh, URLs. Well, please drop them into the. Uh, oh yeah. Demo, okay. Demo yes. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Cool. Thanks. Any any other question, comment? No, just a curiosity. If you go down in this table, in this uh, charts. Yeah. No, sorry, in dashboard. Just go at the end. Yes. Uh, repository L. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Go down. Yeah. 
You see I'm that the bot, the bot is always uh, doing more than everyone. Yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> that was basically the first ob observation when we started the source of metrics project that bots <laughs> are the main contributors and we need a filter for that so you don't want to analyze bots if you want to see only contributors. So, well, it says <laughs> yeah, uh, and I, quantitative yes. analysis, right? So, okay. Yes, and you can also, I forgot, you can uh, edit the dashboard uh, to your uh, likings, so you can enlarge the dashboards, move them around, and etc. etc. Okay, cool. So, Good. yeah. Uh, thanks for that. Cool.